we did it. We did it. It took us a little over 2,000 hits. We hit every voodoo we could find from 2011, and we came up with a winner. I always wanted to find the best DeMarini voodoo bat ever. I'm talking BB core bat from 2011, the black to the voodoo, to the voodoo, to the voodoo raw, to the voodoo paradox, to the voodoo overlord, to the overlord FT, all the way to the goods. So this is how we're gonna try to solve that problem. We actually went to eBay and we bought uh, every voodoo we could find from 2011. So this is 2011 all the way through 2020, the goods, and we're gonna build a bracket, hit each pairing of bats, just like an NCAA bracket, and it's gonna be a data-based win. It's not gonna be the guys aren't gonna touch it and say, oh, we think this bat felt better. No. Now, some of these voodoos back here we bought for like 30 bucks on eBay. My expectation is that the older ones are definitely not as good as the newer ones, for sure. Like the 2011 voodoo black, 2012 voodoo, 2013 voodoo, maybe even like the paradox from 2014, not as good as like the goods and the voodoo balance of 2020. But I'm interested to see when you get in about that 2017, really right after the raw, right after they got done with the voodoo raw in 2016, how much better are we really from 2017 to 2020? We've been hitting voodoo bats for what feels like three weeks. We've had 14 voodoo bats we got from 2011 all the way through the goods in 2020. We put them head to head matchups three different hitters hitting each bat 30 times and the winner is the one that has the higher average exit velocity per hitter they get a point basically for each hitter that hits that bat harder and then they move on to the next round we thought we'd do some way to decide a pole position so a seating in the tournament there's 14 teams the first two bats will get a buy because that's how the bracket works so we're, we're going to hit each bat with two hitters three times as hard as we can off of a tee measured on hit track and see what the highest exit velocity was for each player and sort of average those out. And then that will determine our seating. We, and now here we are to the final two, the raw 2016 raw and the absolute surprise 2013 voodoo. Now this is a black version of that, but this bat is usually crimson right here. It's, so it's red and black, but same, same bat, just different paint job. And uh, they have beat every bat, every voodoo, like 2019, 2020, the goods, they have been absolutely dominant. We were gonna do best of five in the final and we did that. And currently it's two to two, it's tied up. So the, the Raw's won twice, the 2013 has won twice. In fact, this is the first time that the 2013 has lost. To date, it, it, had the, it had the goods in round one. This guy has not missed a beat, and it is absolutely fire. But this Raw, it feels, it feels super soft, but it's clobbering balls. It is absolutely clobbering balls. So what else can we do but do a Daddy Hacks version? Uh, if I'm gonna be the one responsible to claim that this is the best voodoo ever, I should probably get in the cage at some point and hack away, don't you think? So that's what we're gonna do. Two to two, this bat's won twice, this bat's won twice. The tiebreaker is, I guess it's daddy hacks. How else could we ever claim what bat was the best? This is it, a data-based voodoo competition to find the best one ever. All right, Hit Tracks is set up, warmed. We're about at a rock and roll. I'm nervous. We've been doing this for a long time. Take, took me weeks to get all the bats in, making sure we had the right sizes, setting up hitters to come. I mean, this is, uh, let's think, 13 matches times three. That's 39 different sessions we've had, plus the four, we had 40, 
three sessions, 43 times 60 hits, what is that math? That's probably 2,400 hits. Yeah. I, I, it's like 2,400 hits of voodoo's only in here. We've been, we've been pounding them out. And this is, what it, this is what it comes down to. I'm telling you, I'm, it's embarrassing to admit, but I'm nervous. So here we go. First swing with the 13. In the final round. In the final round. Come on, big boy. Honestly, I'm not sure. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's gonna be close. I hope this one wins. I just like, this one's real flexible, so it feels real mushy, but it bangs, man. I also like the design. I think it's great. I'm nervous to go over there, honestly. Pause the video forever, and no one ever knows, because they're both great. Because they're both great. Honestly, let's be serious. The Voodoo line's fantastic. It's been fantastic for since 2011 honestly the 2011 go back and look at our chart the 2011 went against like the 2019 was it this close to losing to it I'm don't pitch to me up and in guys okay you're pitching to me <laughs> apparently you want to throw it right down the middle don't don't throw to me up and in and don't put in the bottom half of the plate okay I'm gonna mash it okay here we go Everybody has had 60 at-bats, and that's about it, right? We got max velos anywhere from about 92 miles an hour down to 86 miles an hour. If you were to take the averages, that's the winner, the 2013 Voodoo. Unbelievable, right? However, if you break them up individually, you find that three people won with the Voodoo Raw. So this guy won with the Voodoo on the 13. This guy won with the Raw. This guy won with the raw. This guy won with the 13. This guy won with the raw. In terms of total score, the, uh, the, the, the 16 wins, three to two. What a crazy event. So this is the problem with, with our game, is that if you, if you were to add up every hit and take the average, the 2013 won. The raw won, two people won with the raw by 0.1 miles an hour. Me and a 17U, about 180 pound, five foot 10 kid. So the raw won by 0.1 miles an hour and on two people and then by one and a half mile an hour in the third person the other two people won by like two three miles an hour one and a half miles an hour with it so if you take the average you probably win with the voodoo 2013 but that's not the game we play folks beginning of our battle we made the rules the rules where you had to win individually with each player not as a total so uh, sorry, 2013, it's just not you. It's gonna have to be the 2016 Voodoo Raw, which blows, which absolutely blows our mind. We would have never guessed. Uh, our takeaways are pretty simple, I guess, is that the Voodoo's been a great bat line for a long time, folks. Don't, don't hesitate. Just because you see one online that's for cheap, blows my mind. I would have, we would have never, I would have never picked that bat in a million years. But, data don't lie, kids. The data don't lie.